Hi all. Today we can discuss Wuthering Heights written by Emily Brondi. First of all the characters list. Mr. Lockwood who is a gentleman who runs a thrush cross grange from Heathcliff. He is the narrator of the story. Nellie Deans uh, tells him about all of the other characters and the and he passes on her account to the reader and uh, next one ellen nelly dean uh, the housekeeper to the yarnstraws and lintons the novel is from her point of view we see every character through her eyes she grows up with hindley catherine and uh, cleet thief works at both Uthering Heights and Crush Cross Grange. Next one, Hindley Enshaw, son of Mr. Enshaw, brother of Catherine and foster brother of Heathcliff and father of Hayton and husband of Francis. He inherits uh, really Uthering Heights from his father, a hardcore uh, drinker and gambler he falls apart after his wife's death. Next, uh, Catherine Enshua Linden, who is the daughter of Mr. Enshua, sister of Hindley, and uh, foster sister and true love of Heathcliff, and wife of Edgar, and mother of Cathy. She is very gorgeous and uh, fiery with dark curls and penetrating eyes. Catherine is really a woman of uh, conflict. Uh, she craves the luxury, security and serenity of ultra-civilized uh, Edgar even as she runs wild across the moors with brooding and unkept uh, Heathcliff. She loves Heathcliff with a, la with a huge and overwhelming passion. Uh, she is very impetuous, a proud and sometimes haughty. And the next in the list is uh, Heathcliff, who is the protagonist uh, in the story, father of, so foster son of Mr. Enshaw, foster brother of uh, Hindley and Catherine, husband of Isabella, and uh, father of Lyndon. Uh, Heathcliff is the uh, conflicted. A villain or uh, you can say the antagonist or the hero of the uh, novel. Mr. Enshaw uh, finds him on the street and brings him home to the Ring Heights where he and Catherine become soulmates. Uh, he is the ultimate outsider with his dark gypsy looks and mysterious background. Though he eventually comes to own uh, the Ring Heights, he never seems as fully home in the house as he does on the moose. He, his love for Catherine is gigantic and untamed and matters to him more than anything else. But it is never easy. It leads uh, him to control and belittle and manipulate nearly everyone around him. Despite, uh, despite uh, his uh, many horrible deeds, Heathcliff is uh, not a, a straight uh, a straight out bad, bad guy. He is a poor orphan who finds material success but not uh, what he really wants. That is the love of Catherine. And next one is uh, Catherine or uh, Cathy Linden. She is called as Cathy Linden in the novel. Uh, daughter of Edgar and Catherine. Wife of Linden Heathcliff and uh, Hayton Asia. Uh, both her cousin, uh, a very young and a beautiful and good-hearted, uh, Cathy uh, has the uh, gumption and passion of her mother and uh, the calm and blonde uh, beauty of her father. She is a complicated teenager who is uh, frequently kind and compassionate but often uh, goes selfish and inconsiderate too. Ultimately, she shows the capacity to see past superficial things to the nobility and beauty beneath, a trait that her mother lacked, really. 
Next is Hayat Nenshua, uh, the son of Hindley and Francis and the husband of young Cathy. Hayat uh, lives and works at Vidhani Heights where his father ignores him and Heathcliff tolerates him uh, there. <coughs> he is very shy, rough, illiterate, hardworking and neglected. By birth he should be a gentleman but uh, his guardians uh, purposefully neglect his uh, education. Underneath uh, his uh, but uh, his underneath his gruffness is a smart, kind and sensitive soul. And the last major character, Edgar Linton, brother of Isabella and husband of Catherine, uh, father of uh, Cathy. He is very sweet, loving and kind. Edgar is the picture of a country a gentleman. He is very handsome and dotes upon uh, both wife and daughter. He initially appears fragile, but in fact, he is quite strong in a quite introspective way. He is not pure goodness, however, he despises Heathcliff and can be uh, unforgiving. And then we have a few minor characters as well, like Mr. Enshua, then Francis Enshua, Isabella Linton, Linton Heathcliff, and... Uh, uh, the long time servant of Wuthering Heights that is Joseph and uh, the housekeeper at Wuthering Heights uh, Zilla etc. So these are the uh, characters uh, in the novel. Now let us see into the story talking about uh, the story Mr. Lockwood an out of uh, towner uh, renting an estate called Thrush Cross Grange uh, twice visits uh, his landlord, Mr. Heathcliff, who lives at a, a nearby manor called Wuthering Heights. So, during the first visit, Heathcliff is uh, gruff but compelling. Uh, during the second visit, Lockwood meets other mysterious residents of Wuthering Heights. And uh, he is very attracted by dogs when he tries to leave and he endures a ghostly uh, visitation overnight. Lockwood asked the housekeeper at the Grange, Ellen Dean, uh, to tell him about Heathcliff and the Wuthering Heights. It is she who recounts a complicated story of two families, the Enshaws and the Lindens. So, Mr. Lind Enshaw, a gentleman, owns uh, the Wuthering Heights. He has two children. Uh, who are they? Hindley and Catherine. They are the two children of uh, Mr. Enshaw and he adopts a third one called Heathcliff. So Hindley is that is the own son of Mr. Enshaw is very jealous of Heathcliff who was the adopted son because his uh, brother, father and his sister are very fond of uh, this particular uh, boy. So to avoid uh, a strife Mr. Enshaw sends Hindley away to a college uh, during which time, Catherine and Heathcliff uh, became very close. They became uh, extremely close. And uh, Mr. Enshaw dies. And Hindley, with a new wife, uh, who had been sent away uh, to avoid a struggle and strife between uh, these two sons, uh, had returned to claim Wuthering Heights. Still uh, bitter, uh, Hindley forces Heathcliff to give up his education and treats him like a servant. So Hindley's wife dies soon after giving birth to a baby boy uh, who was hated. However, uh, Hindley descends into alcoholism. And uh, though he continues to abuse and mistreat uh, Heathcliff. Heathcliff and Catherine grow interested in the Lintons, a well-to-do family who live at the Thrushros Grange. The Lindens have two children uh, whose names are Edgar and Isabella who seem very cultured and refined to the somewhat wild inhabitants of Wuthering Heights. After suffering an injury uh, while spying on the Lindens, Catherine Enshua spends five weeks with the Lindens uh, becoming very close to Edgar. And she finds Edgar's wealth and blonde beauty enticing 
uh, yet her feelings for heathcliff are far more passionate she at the same time she has passionate love towards uh, heathcliff and uh, she accidentally fell in love with edgar for his health uh, for his wealth and uh, his uh, beauty of uh, enticing beauty so even so uh, catherine tells nelly that she can't marry heathcliff because of uh, how hindley has disregarded him so heathcliff overhears uh, catherine and uh, flees wuthering heights that night so when he overhears uh catherine telling nelly that since uh, him uh, heathcliff and uh, who edgar i mean his bra- brother uh, is uh, are are not in good terms they are always uh, fighting and uh, uh, they always hate and uh, you know <coughs> hindley doesn't have in good relation with <coughs> Uh, anyway uh, with the uh, heathcliff so she can't marry him so overhearing this he became very much disappointed and he uh, you know ran off from there and in heathcliff's absence a devastated gathering uh, marries edgar linton and moves to threshold range all is well until heathcliff returns after a long time heathcliff again returns to uh, threshold range now he is uh, no more the defiant and uh, victimized heathcliff but now he is very rich and dignified uh, but just as wild and ferocious so catherine is uh, very thrilled uh, thrilled and excited uh, when she came to know about heathcliff's uh, arrival and she wants to see him again but edgar doesn't share that excitement uh, who uh, who was uh, her husband Uh, so he tries to keep them apart uh, every chance of me uh, you know meeting of catherine and uh, heathcliff was stopped and uh, 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 you know stopped by edgar so he tries to keep them apart but catherine continues to see heathcliff uh, despite her husband's disapproval so heathcliff meanwhile moves into wuthering heights and hindley uh, who has become a gambler and welcomes Uh, heathcliff into his home because he uh, lusts after uh, heathcliff's money and soon after uh, catherine reveals to heathcliff that isabella has a crush on him uh, not not long after that uh, she observes the two of them embracing so the developing romance leads to a conflict between edgar and heathcliff after which edgar demands that catherine choose between the two of them Catherine responds by locking herself into her room and refusing to eat for 3 days and uh, on the third day she is frenzied and delusional and uh, believes herself near death that same night heathcliff elopes with isabel so edgar nurses catherine uh, for 2 months uh, her uh, health improves and uh, she also discovers that she is pregnant <coughs> okay and uh, then at wuthering heights heathcliff uh, treats isabella even if he uh, loves her and uh, married her she was receiving a sort of uh, what you call very uh, actually she was ter- she was uh, um, heathcliff treat her very terribly um, from the moment after their wedding okay so edgar however refuses to have any contact with isabella and uh, fears that heathcliff uh waits isabella solely as a way to try to take thrushcross range uh, from the lintons that was the very aim of heathcliff in marrying isabella so two months after uh, the wedding heathcliff concerned about catherine's health uh, pays a surprise visit to thrushcross range while edgar is away so in a tearful reunion heathcliff and catherine uh, profess uh, their uh, continuing and uh, eternal love for each other but edgar soon returns and catherine collapses so that night catherine gives birth to a girl uh, called kathy and dies a few hours uh, later uh, her delivery catherine is buried in a spot overlooking the moors where she used to play with heathcliff as a child Uh, then uh, two days later isabella escapes uh, from wuthering heights and goes to town outside london where she gives birth to heathcliff's son linton 
Hindley uh, dies six months later, so deeply in debt to Heathcliff that Heathcliff becomes the owner of Wuthering Heights. So Heathcliff then places Hayton into the same kind of servitude into which Hindley uh, once placed him. So twelve years pass. Cathy grows into a beautiful young woman, while Hayton grows into a rough uh, youth. Isabella dies. and uh, edgar isabella is the wife of uh, heathcliff and uh, uh, sister of edgar and uh, edgar brings linton uh, back to thrushcross grange but heathcliff uh, insists that uh, linton come to live with him at uh, wuthery heights so heathcliff then uh, carefully and uh, deliberately uh, cultivates a friendship a friendship between Uh, the weak and spineless linton and the strong willed kathy kathy is the daughter of heathcliff and uh, i mean uh, edgar and uh, kathry and uh, though edgar at first forbids kathy uh, uh, from seeing linton at all as his own uh, health fails he relents and allows her to meet with uh, linton at thrushcross grange or uh, on the moors So one day, when meeting with Linton on the moors, Heathcliff forces Kathy and uh, Nelly to return with him and Linton to Wuthering Heights. She confines Kathy and Nelly in the uh, house until Kathy marries Linton, which she ultimately does. Kathy escapes from Wuthering Heights long enough to be with her father as he dies, but uh, is soon taken back uh, to Wuthering Heights by Heathcliff. and edgar is buried next to catherine and linton dies soon after uh, the heathcliff uh, because of his uh, care i mean careful uh, legal uh, manoeurings uh, now owns both wuthering heights and thrushcross grange kathy uh, reluctantly lives with heathcliff and hayton uh, whom she constantly mocks for uh, his illiteracy at uh, wuthering heights uh, this brings the story up to the present when lockwood has rented thrushcross uh, grange okay so lord could uh, is the narrator and who rented thrushcross uh, thrushcross uh, grange uh, recently goes back to london but passes through the reign of region 6 uh, months later much to everyone's surprise kathy and uh, hayton have fallen in love uh, kathy has realized hayton's nobility and kindness beneath his lack of education Uh, Heathcliff, uh, who sees a strong resemblance in both Hayton and Kathy to Catherine, is no longer feels uh, the need for any uh, revenge. And uh, later, uh, he dies and is buried beside Catherine, uh, just on the side opposite where Edgar is buried. And uh, Kathy and Hayton, at last uh, free of uh, inferring adults, uh, plan to marry and move to Thrushcross Grange. and that's all about the story wuthering heights hope you have understood thank you